welcome to fishing discoveries um it's absolutely freezing cold um this is first week of december and i'm out fishing for silvers on a local syndicate lake um gonna be a bit of a different angle this episode really um i want to throw it out there to you guys i want to know what people are doing this time of year december and into january this freezing cold weather what are you doing with your fishing and what do you want to see from us from the unport um over the past few months that we've been running this channel we've put out a varied amount of fishing from various bits of fly fishing we're right in the middle of launching paul's new book at the minute if you've not seen that um, check out uh, our channel there's several videos about the book on nymphing um, so we've done a bit of fly fishing which uh, we, we've both worked in that field for uh, a good long while now i've probably been in it 13 or 14 years now um, We've featured some ultralight lure fishing and some BFS, that's bait finesse system for those that don't know. Um, Paul's getting heavily into that, um, he's disappearing down the rabbit hole of BFS. Um, but one or two ideas we've got lined up for this winter, um, fishing some bigger lures for pike, um, maybe some dead baiting for pike as well. Um, some winter fishing for grail and some trotting for grail would be nice um, that's something that I absolutely love doing it's um, I think close to my heart is trotting for grail in, in the depths of winter but we can do some nymph fishing for grail as well and we probably will um, so I'm going to show you uh, the sort of highlights of my day to day fishing for silvers I've had a couple of nice uh, bream and an eyed as well nice eyed um, but uh, drop us a comment and let us know the kind of fishing that you're going to be doing. If you've got any links, uh, by all means send us a link. If you've got, if you've put a post on Facebook or you've got your own YouTube video, uh, drop us a link in the comments. We'd love to see some of your fish captures and your fishing escapades. Um, and drop us a comment with the kind of things that you'd like to see us do. Maybe drop us a challenge in. You know, um, we're, we're up for almost anything. I think. Um, the current Covid situation, we've got to keep it fairly local, we're probably not going to be out to the coast doing any uh, saltwater fishing. And to be honest, it's not my cup of tea in the depths of winter, being on an angry uh, angry coastline. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're not a subscriber, um, drop us a subscription, drop us a like on this video if you want to see uh, more varied content. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll just leave you with the highlights of today. Uh, maybe show you uh, what I've caught at the end of the session. I'm, I'm sat next to uh, Gary, who you might have seen in previous episodes. I think we saw his, his sort of catch. Oh, a kingfisher. Wow. Well, that's made my day seeing a kingfisher scooting down the edge of this lake. I'm pretty sure I didn't get it on camera, but uh, yeah, it's the kind of thing that floats my boat. Um, well, I've lost my place completely now. Um, yeah, subscribe, drop us a like on, and Remember, drop us a comment, tell us the kind of things that you want to see and I'm going to leave you with the highlights of my day um, and maybe show you what uh, Gary's had in the next peg as well. So uh, that's it from me for now, watch the highlights and uh, hope you enjoy it guys.
approach. Bad luck to skimmer. GoPro makes it bloody hard work with the pot. Banging into the uh, <coughs> ton of mounds. So, uh, yeah, not as elegant as I normally are. With a nice little bream just above the skimmer. So, um, I've not counted these, but uh, it's a nice net of mainly skimmers with this lovely eye that gave me a nice bit of a scrap that pulled to me off the count. Um, yeah, what would you give me for him, Gary? Found him? Nearly two, pound and a half, two. Um, so, yeah, very happy with that, but um, Gary has by far outdone me. He got a little bit of a head start, but uh, I can't really say that uh, I were anywhere near. Amy, we were, what, were you fishing 11 and a half meters? Yeah, yeah. And I was fishing at about seven and a half, so maybe that distance had a bit. But let's take a look at Gary's now. That's lovely, that. So this is Gary's catch, and he's had a fair, uh, fair old uh, day, really, haven't you? Twenty, Cracking. just over twenty pound. Twenty pound, yeah, fish um, in what four hour session? Bang on on the pole. Um, 11 and a half meters out, um, plumbed up, dead on depth, um, precisions, everything. I think in winter, um, just like half an inch of bristle sticking out above the water. Um, super, super shy bites from these bream. Um, so you got to really have it precisely set on, on the right depth and uh, cracking, great session. A little bit of feed, little and often with the cab pot, did the job. Marvelous. So uh, just to uh... Just to be clear, 
you've done pretty much everything I said to do in that video. Oh, not uh, much. <laughs> just, just over a week ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, this is the same place where there's been a few reports of people not, not having too many captures, but I think you'll agree. Uh, almost bang on Cock 20 off. pound a bream with a few uh, odd other fish mixed in. Uh, can't get much better than that, folks. I've had a cracking day and looking at that, I know Gary has too. Yeah, so it's been great. <laughs> Join me next time on Fishing Discoveries. Don't forget to give us a quick comment. Let us know what kind of things you want to see and what kind of things you've been up to. We'll see you next time. Cheers.